namaskar everyone welcome to let's talk academy uh, today's topic is uh, domain and motif so domain is basically the most talk about topic perhaps the uh, less understood topic of the molecular biology so basically if i ask you what is domain feature of protein and sometimes rna also right rna also have domains so what is domain so now tell me one thing protein is folded or linear normally proteins are folded right so say say for example if i am saying this is a protein made up of say 100 amino acid so this protein may be folded like this that means all the amino acid they are very close to each other and there is interaction between each other so if i mutated a particular amino acid the structure is going to be the lost so if structure loss is there no need to mention that obviously the function is also going to be lost this is one way of this uh, protein folding what about if suppose uh, if i take this another protein and this part of the protein is uh, fold upon itself and the remaining part of the protein is you know fold upon itself again that means this part the first part is not having any interaction with this part and this part is not having interaction with this part and this part is not having interaction with this part great so that means the part of folded protein yes okay so there is no interaction between these two no no disulfide bond formation no no hydrogen bonding no say so molecules interact with each other by covalent or non covalent bonding great so non covalent bonding like hydrophobic interaction ionic interaction van der waal interaction and uh, this uh, hydrophobic interactions so there is no hydrophobic interaction no ionic interaction no van der waal interaction and no hydrogen bonding between these two so that means there is no interaction between these two two part of the protein so if i mutated if i causes a mutation if i causes a mutation in this particular part the structure and function of this part remain intact because it it has no interaction with other part so that means it's not going to influence it in this domain in any way so what is this this is a domain so what is domain domain is a independent folded region part of a protein so mutation in one domain mutation in one domain does not affect the structure and function of other domain two domains are basically connected by a hinge region it is necessary that if you want to be separate these two domain we must have a linear region that is known as hinge so what are the amino acid which are responsible for the creation of the hinge region number 1 is a glycine why i am saying glycine is present in the hinge region because glycine is the most simplest amino acid it has uh, hydrogen as a r group and that hydrogen is, is attached with the carbon so that means that hydrogen is neither forming hydrophobic interaction nor hydrogen bonding nor this uh, uh, this uh, ionic interaction and very less hydrophobic with this uh, van der waal interaction so that means glycine is very poor in forming bond so that means glycine remain intact so that means glycine oppose the protein folding because folding involve various interactions so glycine say i am sorry because neither i can form hydrogen bonding nor electrostatic nor uh, hydrophobic interactions so i am not going to fold so i will remain in the linear form so whenever like uh, during the translation process or whenever the protein is synthesized the few part of the protein the few part of the protein fold upon itself and whenever we have a glycine 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 sequence that part remain uh, unfolded because they oppose the protein folding because they they can't form any bond with each other or with any other uh, amino acid so they remain unfolded so remaining part because uh, again the remaining part is either polar on positive charge or negative charge or say hydrophobic so the remaining part remain uh, like they again undergo protein folding so in this way we, we can get a two domain in a protein so protein have two domains or many obviously protein may have 3 4 10 20 domains so mutation in one domain does not affect the function and structure of other domain so that means if i cleave the hinge region two domains can be separated yes they will show their functions obviously they will show their functions domain is basically independent folded region of a protein you got the domain 
Second is motive. What do we mean by the motive? So, we all have heard about uh, like the secondary structure of protein. So, you all know about alpha helix, yes, and you know about beta sheet, great, you know about pi helix, great. So, these are the secondary structure of proteins, right. So, what tell me? If I say alpha and alpha, how many secondary structure? Two secondary structure, alpha and alpha. What about alpha, beta, alpha? Three secondary structure, great. So, we call these structure as a motif. So, motif is a super secondary structure. So, it means more than more than one secondary structure combined together during protein folding, during protein folding combined together and form what motif? Motif is a folded structure, motif is a tertiary structure of a protein. What is tertiary structure of protein? It is a protein folding, definitely I will clear it in the next video. Motif is a tertiary structure, it is a super secondary structure, it is a tertiary structure, mind it. It is formed during the protein folding only. So, more than 2 alpha or more than 2 beta or alpha beta in any combination alpha, 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 beta, alpha, beta, alpha, beta, alpha, beta, alpha, beta, alpha, beat anyone, okay, you can name it. So, all these combine together and they form what motif? Motif is a tertiary, yes. Motif product functions to a protein. Okay, a domain may have more than one motif, sometimes one also. A protein may have more than one or sometimes one uh, a domain. A domain may have one or more than one motif. You got the domain and motive concept? So, for more uh, videos, stay tuned to the academy channel, it is free totally. Thank you very much.